Welcome back to another day at IBM STEAM Conference 2019. Here's what you missed. On Tuesday, it was IBM CEO Ginny Rometty's turn to shine. I think this chapter two of digital and AI is about scaling now. Previously, Watson Studio for building AI, Watson Assistant, and AI OpenScale were only available through IBM's public cloud. That changed on Tuesday. Some data you want to move, some you don't, some you want on your prem, some you want to train one place, run another. IBM announced Watson can now be used on Google Cloud Platform, AWS, Microsoft Azure, and other cloud providers. This will be the most open, scalable AI for business in the world. How much of their investment that, uh, that they're making in AI and hybrid cloud and security, what kind of difference does that make for you? Well, I think hybrid cloud specifically is where it's all going to go. I mean, the, the term actually multi-cloud is even more representative. We also had the chance to learn a bit more about IBM security initiatives. In our market, there's really a big trend towards managed security service provider. On Monday, IBM announced a managed services security provider program helping partners to build security practices and to deliver solutions in either an embedded or reseller model. So what is it about IBM security products that stick out for you? Well, IBM have a very unique view of the world, and, and that is that they have um, an unparalleled customer base globally. And when you're looking at cybersecurity, you've got to understand the threats that are coming. And IBM are able to look at all of the different industry verticals, from healthcare to manufacturing to retail to finance, and understand the threats that are coming, and then build our solutions around those threats. Other key announcements at IBM's Think Conference revolve around new initiatives for how partners engage with customers. For more coverage on these headlines, be sure to check out CRN.com. I'm Diana Blass, reporting for CRN TV.